Hi! It's fall season. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later. I'm still in the clothes that I went to school with, which I'm gonna change out of them before I start decorating in my room. But um, I picked up everything on the ground and everything is clean now, so now we're gonna get into the decorating portion. So I'm gonna do a little haul of everything that I purchased. So the first thing that I got was this. I hope you can see it, but um, it's just this, I don't know what it's called. It's like a bed back pillow. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but I got it in this cream color. It's very fluffy, it's very fuzzy. So that's gonna go on my bed and then the next thing I got was this comforter I originally wanted to get a throw blanket but then I went to Walmart and the fall section was really lacking so then I saw this comforter and it's really warm and has really cute fall colors and it's like flannel themed so I'm gonna put this on my bed and it's gonna look very nice so this is what it looks like and then in terms of other things for my room or like the other decor to be honest almost every store that I went to was lacking in fall stuff and I couldn't really find a lot of good fall things so these were the few items that I was able to pick up the first thing is I got this little mini ceramic pumpkin it looks very cute it looks very adorable probably gonna place this either on my nightstand not my nightstand I'm either gonna place this on my dresser or on my desk and then I got this little jack-o'-lantern slash pumpkin pillow this was from the dollar store so I'm just gonna throw this on my bed and um, the last thing that I got was I wasn't anticipating to get this, but I was at the store, I was at Indigo, and I saw that it was on sale, so I was like, I guess why not? And it's a Himalayan salt lamp. I never thought that I would get one. This box is actually fairly heavy. Um, I just felt that it would make my room a little more cozy, and it was also on sale too, so I liked it, and I was like, why not get it? So, um, that's pretty much- oh, and then the last thing that I got was a candle. It's not a fall scented candle, but sheesh, y'all, it smells so good. It's Seashore Breeze. It smells so nice, and I know I'm gonna burn this while I'm um, redecorating in my room. But let's just get started, you guys. making my bed it looks very adorable I love the comforter I also love the Sherpa material I guess you could say inside I definitely know that tonight sleeping in my bed is going to be very warm very cozy and very comfortable so now we're just going to unbox the Himalayan salt lamp and we're gonna see how to set it up and I'm gonna try to figure out where to put it I'm kind of tied between putting it on my dresser or putting it on my desk I mean I only have so many places I can put it because the only places I can put it are my dresser or my desk. So I'm gonna open it up, see how big it is, and then I'll figure out from there where I'm gonna put it. Oh, she's cute. Oh, that looks so cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. That's so nice. Good morning. It is Monday, October 11th. It's um, I think it's around like 8:30 or something like that in the morning. In today's video, I kind of want to show you guys like my reset routine and things that I like to do um, on my days off that just help me mentally prepare and physically prepare for the week that is ahead. Really hope that this video can help you guys out, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's just get into it. So it's a little bit later right now, it's 10. I made myself some tea. I'm not really a tea drinker or I'm not really like a hot drink type of gal, but I feel like because it's getting colder outside, I want to start liking more hot drinks apart from like hot chocolate. So I made myself some chai tea and then I also put some cashew milk in it. And then I also put um, some of this Starbucks pumpkin spice creamer. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, not really the biggest fan of the pumpkin spice. Um, 
creamer. I don't know. There was just I put it in my coffee. It didn't really taste that good. So somebody's also showering right now. So that's where that sound is coming from. But I put it in my coffee. Didn't really like it. But I mean, it doesn't taste that bad in the chai tea. So. There's that. Today, there's a lot of things that we have to get done. It's actually Monday today and not Sunday. Today's actually Thanksgiving, so I don't have school today, which is very nice. So basically, I'm just going to sit down and plan a little bit. But before I did that, I also Bible studied and I had my Jesus time. So I went to church yesterday and they give us these gratitude journals because of Thanksgiving. And one thing I'm trying to do is I want to fill up the entire page front and back with things that I'm grateful for. So this is definitely going to take me a hot minute to finish filling up because there are quite some pages in it but that's pretty exciting and then I have this little black book that I like to bring with me to church so I like to take notes during the service I really want to get into prayer journaling or just journaling in general I, I don't know there's something so cool about praying for something and asking God for something not just in the sense of just asking God for something it's just really cool to pray about something and then after over a certain period of time see how god has like blessed you with that thing or i don't know what i'm trying to say is it's so cool when you pray about something and you write it down and then you come back to it maybe like a day later or even a couple months later or even like a year later and you just see how like god has blessed you and it's just so crazy the way that he works because he always works in ways that we can't even begin to understand like i'm gonna create a plan for what i want to get done today and also create a rough outline for what i want to accomplish throughout the rest of this week so let's just get into it I'm done planning for the day. I wrote kind of like a rough outline of everything that I wanted to do today for Monday, October 11th. I don't want to write down too many things because I feel like A, that's kind of overwhelming and B, I also want to be realistic because if you write too much stuff down when you try to create a to-do list and you don't accomplish all of it, you kind of feel bad and you kind of beat yourself up for it. So we're not trying to do that. We want this to be efficient, effective, and productive. So, um, a few things on there. Obviously, I don't have school today. I'm filming all day today. I have an accounting, a couple accounting assignments that I have to finish. I want to bake some cookies. And what else? Post on my Instagram story, which I've already done. Plan some content out for the week and then also learn how to use Notion. I've literally been seeing Notion commercials everywhere and I've also been hearing a lot of people talk about it. I heard about Notion way before it got like popular and stuff like that. I never really got into it, but hopefully I can learn how to use it because I see people talk about it all the time and it does look like a really good platform and piece of software to use to like organize yourself. So definitely want to get on top of that. Also, excuse my nails. They are so grown out and they look so bad. Honestly, I really want to try acrylics. I tried them personally, never going to get them again. I think it was just the person who did my nails who didn't know how to do them right, but I just hate them. I really do. But um, that's a conversation for another day. As you can see in the back, my bed is not made. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm going to change into a different outfit because I'm still in my pajamas. And then we're just gonna keep moving forward with the rest of our day. So I changed out of my pajamas and it looks like I changed from one set of pajamas to like a nicer set of pajamas. But this outfit is comfortable and that's really all that matters. So the zip up is from Zara. The crop top is from Dynamite, and the sweatpants are from Dynamite as well. And I just have these white socks on, and those are from Arden. And then the necklace is from Arden as well. So yeah, I'm sitting at my desk area right now, and I'm gonna get ready to do some work. One thing that I really like to do before I begin my next week, or at the start of every week, I try to go through my email. I usually get a fair bit of emails, whether it's like spam emails or even just like emails from like my professors and stuff like that. I just like to um, check my email just so I can have an understanding of what's going to be happening in the new week or if there's any important emails that I need to check out from any of my teachers or you know if anyone tries to like message me or contact me in any way. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go through my Gmail. Then the next thing I also like to do is I like to write down all the assignments that are going to be due. The one that I have right now is this one. Where is it? It's this planner. It looks like this. The watercolor on the front is very gorgeous. It is very... I, I just like the color scheme and the way that it looks. It looks very nice. And then inside the layout, I actually really like this layout, how the boxes are like really big. And basically I just write down everything that I need to get done. So basically what I want to do is I want to go through this entire week, write down all the assignments that are due this week because I have a fair bit of stuff that I have to get done. I have a midterm on Tuesday. I have a couple accounting assignments due on Tuesday as well. And then I have a stats assignment due at the end of the week, an economics assignment due at the end of the week. 
um, a business law quiz due like on Thursday or something like that. So just listing everything off the top of my head. I have a lot that I have to get done and obviously I'm not going to remember to do all of it. And then another thing that I like to do is I also like to plan out my outfits. Usually I like to do that later in the day. Um, just because I simply just don't have time to plan out what I want to wear in the morning because you'll put one thing on and then you'll be like, no, it's not good. And then after you'll just throw everything on the ground because you don't have time. And then by the end of the week, your entire room looks ex extremely messy. So I feel like when I pick my outfits out ahead of time, it just prevents me from, um, getting my room really messy. But we're going to kind of just time up that process and I'll bring you guys along. So let's go.